some exciting stuff as far as content goes. Do we have a monument? We have a monument. Let's go. Game, are you going to run for us? You are going to run for us. Thank you, game. Uh, let's go, guys. This is the second episode of Grand Theft Monument. Uh, if you saw episode number one on YouTube, the monument can be transported and moved around. So, in theory, Yellow, if he wants to, he could make a transport ship, show up here, control the monument, put that monument inside his transport, and he could sail all around. He could just keep it on water, maybe in this little inlet. Uh, he could drop it off at his base, and then he could walk it over to the corner, whatever. Uh, it's very hard to maneuver large monuments when there's so many wood lines, but that's the idea. This map is called Crater Lake, and this map is in dedication to... The legend which has left the community, Harry Davis, he hasn't played in two years, uh, but the Legend of Harry Davis video is online if you want to see what he used to do. Much like Fat Slob, uh, he used to play one ridiculous setting, it was 1v1 giant Crater Lake. He would do 1v1s, we're doing size 6 here, but he would do a 1v1 and play on giant, that's all he would ever do. On this map you do have some gold, you have 7 tiles of gold at your base, uh, and then there's... A lot of gold in the center and stone as well so normally the focus is to get here and there are a few relics around if need be when i made that legend of harry davis video i didn't know that crater lake was a real place and youtube comments steered me in the right direction <laughs> and i think it's in oregon and if you look up pictures of it it is looks beautiful now i i'm whoa we got a lamer juster duster is laming I know Pig for poor Lovra. I bet you Duster Duster's gonna fail, though. Let's see. He's definitely not MBL. Confirmed to not be MBL. Oh, God! <laughs> if he gets one more... If the boar gets one more hit, he's gonna lose his scout. Oh, yeah. Not MBL confirmed. Duster Duster... It's one of his first community games. I guess he's gotten a little bit too excited here. <laughs> Trying to be a pro and steal pigs. And his scout has just gone down. And not the best execution ever. But I, I really like the spirit. You know? Really tryharding here. As is Lovra. You know, Lovra doesn't need... He doesn't need that villager. Villagers aren't important. I think that this game is going to be... It's going to have less skill than some games that we've seen in the past. Uh, so far, two units have died and we're five minutes in. So anyway, let's introduce the players. Uh, playing in the yellow as the Mongols is Juster Duster. In the gray, we have Alibaba. He is playing as the Byzantines. And he just lost his scout. Holy crap. <laughs> Everyone's losing stuff. Uh, in the red, we have Aikawa. He's playing as the Byzantines. In the green, we have Drac... Drac, playing as the Mayans. In the purple, we have Persians for Dionema, uh, who I will also call Humanoid, because I learned that Dionema is Humanoid backwards. In the orange, we have Spanish for Angs D. In the blue, we have Koreans for Polo 07. I think it's his first community game. And then we have Lovra94, also playing as a Korean. So these guys are, are such big fans of me, they know I'm a big fan of the Korean Civ. And holy crap, that overlay is just quadrupled or tripled for us. Um, you know, that's a lot on our screen right now. I think I will have to remove this, guys. Uh, unfortunately, because it's diplomacy, things can bug out. But yeah, I want to talk about Diplo and what that means. Because I think we saw some solid Diplo in the first episode. Wait, did it just go back to normal? Whatever, we'll remove it. I'll have to cast the old-fashioned way. But yeah, uh, what could happen here is that someone could just go to Feudal Age, build a transport ship, get to the monument, and put it in their transport. And when it's in that transport, you don't know where the monument is. Uh, of course, the countdown starts at 550 years, but it's still very important to have an idea where that monument is being hidden. So I think that players will need to ally each other, they'll need to communicate and talk to each other. Uh, cartography is always a good tech to get so you can see what your allies can see. Now, there's probably going to be some surprises with this. Um, this is only the second time I've casted it, and we discovered a few things the first time around. But wouldn't it be a bad idea to try and keep it in your transport for as long as possible, 
and then maybe drop it off on land and send it to the corner or something. But the second it touches land, people can see it. Actually, I think we learned in episode one that's not necessarily the case. I mean, it's easier for them to spot, of course, because it's a gigantic building. But they, they won't see it if they're not uh, in the line of sight or if they don't have an ally that scouted it. T90, why not change the overlay mod when it always bugs out on Diplo and is generally very slow to respond in the settings? I'm not sure what you mean. Are you implying that there's a mod that's better than the spec overlay? Because there's not. Yeah, if there was like a, a special community game mod that didn't bug out when diplomacy happened, then I would obviously be using that, yeah. But there's none in existence. So I'm going to look to chat now. To see if you guys have any ideas or thoughts on this. Interesting Civ picks. I guess players might just be choosing for preference. Uh, Byzantines are strong on water. Byzantines are also great for any like defensive play. Uh, if you're going to defend a monument, you might want some Byzantine castles and buildings. Koreans are also good for defensive play. I like the fact that Teal is fishing. Uh, more players need to fish in these community games, guys. It's actually a great way for me to know the skill level of the players. Is, are they fishing? There's a lot of fish to be had here. It's unfortunate for red. No, it's not unfortunate for red. There's still plenty of fish. It's unfortunate for blue that he's further away from the center. It's not the fairest map ever. Uh, it's unfortunate for yellow that he got T90 wooed. I meant to look back here because I saw the two wolves. I think the wolves were supposed to show up on this island. But something happened. The earth shifted. The ice melted. The wolves couldn't make it to their family. But yeah, normally if you play this map and you send villagers to the center, you're going to lose villagers to these wolves. This actually isn't as many as I would have expected. The countdown has not started yet. That would require someone to send a ship over here to start it. Look at the cliff in the right corner. This cliff? I see gray is beginning to wall up a little bit. There's some stone over here. Holy crap. You know, I don't know what is normal for resource distribution on this. <laughs> Jester Duster says, I can feel the intensity of our concentration. Maybe this stone is supposed to be in the center? I made the map a bit smaller. Because I recall there being a bit more gold in the center, too. Can you please explain how the monument can fit in a transport ship? The public deserves to know. Can you please explain how 10 elephants can fit in a transport ship? The elephant is as big as the transport ship. Just Age of Empires 2 things, man. Well, as I explained earlier, Gallus is the one who created the mod. Um... I don't know how he does, I don't know how he works his magic, but he's one of the best mod creators in Age of Empires 2 history. So he's very experienced. I'm sure that if you were to message him on Reddit or something, I think Gallas, G-A-L-L-A-S underscore A-O-E, that you could maybe request some mods or just give him feedback. So I don't see him around my streams or my YouTube, but I did reply to his comment on Reddit and he immediately supplied me with a mod. The reason we don't have the current balance on this is because this mod doesn't work uh, doesn't work easily with the current balance. So the way things work on Voobly um, is that you have to use the Wololo Kingdoms mod to use all the new expansion sieves. So if you wanted to do the Wololo Kingdoms mod with another mod, you would need to have a separate download. It's not just a, a, a click and play. You would need to have like a Wololo Kingdoms Grand Theft Monument mod. Which makes it super complicated, and green's gonna do it! Boom! There we go, so so check this out. Green, as far as I know, not allied with yellow, the monument has just disappeared. Green is the first one to do it, so the countdown has begun. He has control of the monument, which shows up as a Mameluk in his transport ship. <gasps> <laughs> Red had the same idea, and Red is just passing him. <laughs> uh, normally, if you do this, you put a giant target on your back, so we'll see. One thing I didn't think about when choosing this specific map is that you could easily hide your transports next to your base. You could protect the choke point with Navy and keep the monument here. And all players have that little space, but green's going the other way. 
Is Green allied with anyone? He's allied with a bunch of people. It's, it's not smart. I mean, you either have to enemy everyone, or you probably just don't take the monument. Oh! Oh! Red is shooting the transport ship! Oh! Uh... Red's like, thank you very much! <laughs> You know what? This is next level thinking. If you want someone to die, just give them the monument. It's like hot potato. <laughs> you don't want the potato at this point of the game. You want the potato later on. Now Red's like, well shoot, now everyone's gonna attack me. I have high score. The monument's at my base. I need to get this thing out of here. That's funny. Well, Red's actually doing fairly well if you look at the score. He's also walled in Green's Eagle. Maybe Green gave him the monument as a sign of respect for the eagle quick wall. I don't know. I'm really curious to see how this goes. I feel like Red's going to die because of this. I believe in the third minute, Aang said something about trade. Oh, I missed some conversation. Humanoid is always very chatty. Holy crap! I missed a lot of chat. Humanoid says, I did karaoke in Japan and sung both Africa and Rickroll. Rickroll song. It was a good time. I also saw a real viper. Hold on. Corn is nice. This woman refused to pick berries and she is fired. <laughs> Don't have intercourse with my women. She can build a house for me. Jeez. All right. Humanoid's an interesting character, I'll tell you that much. Well, Humanoid uh, is in the center, where all the gold is. Polo says, want to ally? Neighbor, both Koreans too. Teal says, I allied you already. I'm friends with everyone. Long live world peace. And Blue says, my Diplo skills are lacking. Yeah, these guys are definitely lower rated. <laughs> They're definitely lower rated in comparison to some of the games we've seen. Uh, I mean, it's not necessarily like they're awful or anything. It's still going to be a great game, but I'm loving the chat here. We got some new personalities. Just don't pull a filster. I really don't want another 13 hour long game. Where did Red go with the monument? Wait! Does Red have it in a transport ship? Wait, I just saw it. I'm, I'm so blind. Guys, I just, I feel like I saw it when I toggled through. Oh! <laughs> it's on blue silence now! <laughs> wait, why are they doing this? It's like hot potato. <laughs> Blue's like, wait, what? Can I control group a monument? They don't want it. This is so funny. And now Red says gift for you, Blue. <laughs> and Polo 07's like, well, what do I do now? This is so funny. I'm loving this so much. I have no idea how to move it. Well, apparently sometimes it doesn't move. I, I think it's going to be awkward to take it to the edge of the map because of the wood lines. Because it's a very thick building. Oh, there we go. You just, when you want to move it, you just click it like a unit. It makes the treb wheel noise. Who knows? Um, trading on this map is actually very difficult, by the way, because of those wood lines, because of the choke points. But Orange is going to make it happen, apparently. They do all seem to be friends for the most part. And Blue is just hanging out with the monument for now. Now, wouldn't it be funny if Blue were to die because of this? If he just leaves it there and then gets killed, it would be kind of funny. You also need military to control it. Doesn't work with vills or boats. That's that's uh, actually not the case, Walkie. I know you played in the first one, but uh, to collect the monument, Green just used his transport ship. Because otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to garrison it if he didn't have a, a unit there, and it was just a transport ship. Next game fills to nothing. Next game fills. So to it nothing. is any unit Next game that should be able to control to it. Next game fills to oh nothing. God! Next game fills to. We're nothing. not making that Next a thing. Next game fills to nothing. Next game fills to nothing. Next game fills to nothing. This is this is kind of like Filster nothing. It's just like Filster to give someone the monument. 
Like, oh, hey, uh, how do you win this game? Oh, you're telling you, you're telling me that you win the game by controlling this building? Cool, here, have the building. Like, that. that is very Filster-like. Like, oh, I could kill your king with this nuke, but instead, I'm just gonna not use it. Oh, and blue's on the move with the monument. I wonder if you can go over trees and houses and stuff. Did he stop moving it there, or did it get blocked off? Because he went over the TC foundation. I didn't think you could move it over any building. I think if I remember, Ray had to delete some stuff in, in episode one. So you probably can't move it past houses. Maybe TCs are the exception. 412 years. We still have a pretty long time. Oh, and Blue's making a transport ship. Orange says, hey, dude, don't do those walls, please. Humanoid says, those are decorative walls, nice and purple. Orange says, no, they aren't, and it means I can't trade with you. Smiley face. Can we get some smiley faces in the chat, please? Humanoid says, I shall construct a gate. And Orange says, thanks. All right. I swear, that Twitch smiley face is just so, like, creepy. <laughs> it's so creepy, man. I love it, though. Tears for beers. Thank you for the $5 donation, man. Uh, don't think Filster Nothing is on the agenda for the day. But maybe that's what this will end up being. In dedication to you. Poosh Chess, thank you for the two-month resub. And to everyone showing up, hello, hello. Hmm. Let's bring up that broken overlay for a second just to check populations do it the lazy way all right just to see oh it's working now well the second they change an alliance it will probably bug out again but this gives us an idea of the populations yeah red he has some gold control in the center uh as does green as does purple as does yellow red has the most population he has 10 fishing ships 70 villagers good eco for him right now and 3,000 gold. Even got a relic. I think yellow. I know he failed with the lame earlier, but he's doing all right. I like the navy he has. I like how he's fishing. I love this redock. Because all the fish near his shoreline are gone. So what he's done is he's redocked, and now he can take these fish easily. Oh, and there's salmon! What? It's all salmon. We didn't even have to edit this one out. This is just meant to be. Oh, and blue is... Keep up with the you know what would be funny? If we could combine this with regicide, you could hide your king with the monument. <laughs> like, oh, where's the king? I can't see it. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Guys, I need help. Someone, someone help me be less of an idiot. Alright, there is the gate. So the gate was constructed. And Blue is making navy here, making fire ships, transport ships. I really wonder what he's doing, though. Like, what, what's his plan? He says, I think I'm tripping. Well, he's moved it almost to the edge of the map. I don't think he wants to give this to someone. This kind of benefits Teal and Orange, the two players who are closer to Blue on land. Uh, green is going to have a real struggle getting it, as will Red, as will Gray, as will Yellow. Uh, I, re I really wonder when people are going to turn on each other. Because if purple were to turn on someone right now, that person couldn't get access to gold. Wouldn't it be funny if blue ends up winning? Well, noob nothing. I'm sure if you believe he can do it, man, it's possible. It would be hilarious if blue ends up winning because others gave it to him. No one wanted it. <laughs> I have to remember to put a hot potato on the YouTube thumbnail. Unless something else comes from this. Maybe a different meme will be born. Oh, green is attacking red. Oh, this is hilarious. So the two players who had the monument at the start. I think this confirms that green intentionally wanted... Intentionally gave red the monument and wanted red to feel pain. Red loses all of his gold villagers because green made plumes. Red says, why do this to me, green? And green says, my eagle. 
Well, fair enough. Yeah, his eagle got walled in earlier. He was humiliated. Blue says publicly, yellow friend or foe, and yellow says, I don't know. What? Why not just take a few minutes to think about it instead of saying, I don't know. Red says that was an accident. Yeah, he just... He was going to place these palisade walls here anyway, and Green's Eagle happened to be there. These guys are not the best with Diplo. <laughs> like, Red could give him a... Red could give him a little bit of gold or something and say, sorry, I was just trolling. Yellow could just be more patient and say... Or what he should say is that, yeah, he'll be friends. Blue's still moving this monument around over here, man. Yeah, as much as misclick is a funny joke, it's, it's also not a way to get some people on your side angry as hobo. Desert Arms, hello. T90 do. Welcome back for nine months. Wargas, I will keep it up, man. Thanks. Got a reposition here. This is going to be a long one. 300 years remaining. I don't think blue can do it. I think that red and green were thinking correctly when they gave up the monument. But, well, maybe, you know what? Maybe not. I'm unsure. To be determined, because they could have just kept it closer to them. Like, Red didn't need to give it to someone on the other side of the map. He could have given it to Gray, so he could easily get it back later on. Speaking of Gray, Gray is making petards and cataphracts. Kind of weird in a non-regicide game to make petards. But his eco seems pretty strong right now. Most people, if not all people, are allied. I guess the exception would be red and green at the moment. Now, you can't delete the monument. Sometimes it goes does go down to 1 HP. Now, I didn't see anyone do an attack ground with a Bombard Cannon or Treb or Maganel on that 1 HP monument, but I don't think it can be defeated. I'm not sure why it goes to 1 HP, though. Maybe we'll find out that you can somehow destroy the monument. Guys, what mod was it? Where we figured out that relics were losing HP. Do you, does anyone remember that? There was a game, I think it was the nuke one. Where when a nuke would go off, or something would happen, the relic would actually lose HP. It was Nuketown? Yeah. That was interesting. Did we ever see if uh, the relic actually explodes? After 30 or something hits? Ooh. Yeah, Red is making trebuchets. Hmm, th this is kind of awkward for Green. I guess he benefited from the fact that he took a little bit of gold here. But Red still has gold on this side because Red is allied with Yellow. And now Red is making trebs. Humanoid, don't garrison the relic here, man. Okay, it's not the smartest place to put that relic. Most players have resources, and a lot of it. Some players have trade. <laughs> what is this tower for humanoid? Oh my god. Uh, Angs is trading away here. 50 gold per trip, no caravan. And yellow is just reminding the group that there's only 260 years remaining. Blue is, I guess, committed to winning this. He has fortified walls here. He's building towers along the shoreline. Funny enough, very similar to how Harry Davis would play, if you ever saw the Legend of Harry Davis video. He used to always build towers on the shoreline. Now, he would choose Chinese, but he would still get keep. Blue needs imp, though. He doesn't have a lot of food right now. Which is surprising, actually, because of the amount of fish traps he has. I think a lot of players are counting on the fact that Blue will die to someone else. That happens a lot. Everyone would just think, ah, well, someone else will do it. They definitely need to be thinking about going after Blue sooner rather than later. Uh, Lover might be the person to do that. He has war wagons. He's in Imp. Getting Halbadir has way more going for him than Blue does. Red is just concerned with killing Green. So... <laughs> Orange is the scout walled in there. I like how Orange hasn't even realized the scout is walled in there. But, uh, not the first one that Red has walled in this game. What's Yellow up to? Okay, Yellow, 
Thought he was going to attack red, but no, he's transporting these units. And since he has his navy here, it wouldn't surprise me to see him send that to blue's base. Man, blue could build so many towers. Look at the amount of stone he has left. He has 1,400 stone in the bank. Could mine all of this. He could do this. It's not like... A lot of people joining the stream right now are probably thinking that this is a wonder that he built, that someone could destroy. No, this can't be destroyed. You just have to have a unit here controlling it. This is the monument is glitching my vills out. Yeah, he has some vills standing around here. It can be glitchy. Green is out of the center. He does not have any villagers collecting gold now. And maybe green should not have attacked red. <laughs> In hindsight, it doesn't seem like it was the smartest idea. Red is the strongest player in the game. But fortunately for green, red doesn't have anything on land, so he, he might be okay. So credit to yellow for really thinking about that. Uh, the, the fact that he needs military to attack these towers, kill these castles. Blue needs to be careful. Man, if blue just built some freaking farms, he's 7,000 wood... If he were to have built farms, he would have had the food for Imp a long time ago. Yeah. Has the right idea with the towers and whatnot, but... My goodness, he really needs something more. With these resources, he could make onagers and halves and towers. He's taking his good old time, I'll tell you that much. I don't know if he'll have the time. Here comes Teal. Keep in mind that uh, Orange could come from the other side. I really think that Orange and Teal are going to benefit from this. Because what Yellow would have to do to get the monument is he'd either have to hold it here, which is so tough because he doesn't have any buildings close by, or he'd need to control it and move it to the shoreline, then transport it away, which is tough. Does Blue have ballistics? It is Polo's first community game ever. He was really supportive on the stream earlier, so I rigged him. I mean, we don't rig things, sorry. Um, yeah, he has ballistics. That's cool. All right, all right, all right. Making siege workshops, good. Making use of the extra gold and wood he has. 1890, you've given me a ton of entertainment and gotten me through some crappy work days, so take some of my money. Thanks for being awesome. P.S. My name was supposed to be Tuba King, but I was stupid, so now it reads as two bacon <laughs> rolls. <laughs> Oh my god, I never thought about that. I've been calling you Two Baking for months. It's supposed to be Tuba King. Oh my god. That's funny. Did anyone out there read that as Tuba King or did everyone say Two Baking? <laughs> That's really funny, man. You have a nice story about your name now. Well, thank you very much for the donation. I'm glad I could help you out. I, I know life can be rough sometimes life could be crazy sometimes and people use my content to unwind i uh take a lot of value in that too because i i need that myself right you know i've been there where's teal going right now man this has been so slow this is like filst or nothing right now only two players are fighting just red and green green is he's has the short end of the stick he's in trouble Gray says, do you want to trade? Well, first off, I don't even know who you're talking to, Gray. Second, trade on this map is going to be tough. Yellow says yes, though. Is Blue just going to win this? Blue hasn't been the fastest player ever. But he was gifted the monument. Red, top score in this game, gave Blue a gift. Oh, wow. Orange is making militia. Is he trolling or did he just make a monumental misclick and try and make halberdiers but instead made militia? <laughs> did he misclick? He meant to make halves. That's so funny. <laughs> oh man. Well, credit to Orange, man. Cred credit to Orange for making a move here. Uh, he's not the strongest player in the game by any means, but he realizes he needs to make a move and I hope he's rewarded for that. Uh, two trebuchets, so the towers will start going down. He needs to get to this monument. 
Uh, Blue is an imp. He's getting Bracer. He's getting Crossbow. So he's making some military. He's making Maganels. I think Blue can hold against Orange. Oh, and a turtle ship. Let's go. Where's Teal when you need him? You know, like, Lovra has the gold in the center. I think they're waiting too long, man. He's building up the suspense, but they need... Th this is tough. That's a lot of Korean towers. The towers have as much range as the Bombard Cannons do. Or, sorry, that it's now, um... No, 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 they have the same range. 8 plus 5. Seems to be making stuff now. Oh! <gasps> Yellow has galleons to protect his transports. He has villagers. He has some mangadai, and he has siege rams. Will Blue spot this? He's kind of distracted right now, I'm sure. Teal, you gotta make a move, man. You gotta make a move, Lovra. I'm not loving what you're doing or not doing right now. Okay, now Yellow, I kind of feel like this is a mistake to turn on Blue now. Because his transports could actually die. But he'll save his transports from the fire ships, no problem. But he might not be able to save his transports from the towers. I think it's better to only turn on him after you land the units. He didn't think that one through. Uh, Red is here to help. Red has so much navy, but navy won't help that monument. 100 years remaining... Uh, Angs is making a move. Yellow, you attack with navy, I go land. That's the noise! That's the noise that should send chills down every player except Polo's spine. 100 years, boys and girls. Make a move. Oh, Humanoid can't see it. He says, where the hell is it? He, he at least knows it was there. I guess because now Blue is enemy with everyone? Now, Blue is still allied with people. That's a mistake. He should have enemied these people, even though they're not attacking him. Whatever. I mean, they're, they're now communicating. So, Green is saying, this is where it is. Purple knows. And Purple still doesn't have a convincing amount of military. In fact, uh, that's because he has zero. Oh, no, he's 25. That's oh, Navy. Yeah. But yellow has landed. This is big because Seadrams and Mangadai can definitely kill what blue has right now. Blue does not have a lot. Again, it's his first community game ever, I believe. So to be in this position, to have been gifted the monument, it's not something he would have expected. And he says, bring it. Oh, he's bringing it, man. You're at 60 pop, Polo. And now Teal's coming. I don't think Blue can do it. I don't think Blue can do it. This is a lot. I know they left it late. But Polo's confidence is not going to save him here. Towers will not save him from sea drams. Did Yellow lose his vills, though? He had a transport with villagers somewhere. He really needs to get some villagers here. If he builds siege workshops here, then I'm confident that he'll just clean up everything Blue has. Great work from Orange. Still continuing to push here. Teal finally pushing in. This is great. And Blue's just beginning to wall like a madman. This is wall builders now, man. By the way, uh, Gray will be in a nice spot. Yellow will be in a nice spot. They have that trade line. Oh my god! This is where the military is for Humanoid? Look how many elephants he has out here. Okay, and I, I believe he's going to transport his elephants. He can only fit five in each transport, but if he gets his upgrades, he could fit more in there. He might be thinking about coming to help. And there we go. Yellow's here with the rams. Blue Red is here with the uh, siege workshops. He's trying to retrieve the monument that he gifted Blue an hour ago. Or a half hour ago. Remember, buildings do not secure the monument. You need actual units here. So if this villager dies, Blue doesn't have any villagers that are in range of the monument. Yellow wouldn't even need to kill things. He'd just run in and restart the countdown. Now it's going to be a real mess to get this monument out of here, but it's going to be a race for it. Like Teal, uh, and Gray, and Yellow, and, and Purple, and Orange. All these people are allied together. 
They're working together. But now things are going to be a little bit dicey. Now Orange might try and run away with this thing. And players will not want that to happen. Red says, why green? Again, green says the scout. Red says that was an accident. And green says, well, in fact, me too. I mean, it kind of suits them to be friends with each other now, but maybe it's too late. I feel like sometimes it, you can't make up, you know? I think they're enemies forever now. Okay, so yellow has control of the monument on the other side of the map with 89 years remaining. Is he gonna try and run away with it? Or will he just win it here somehow? He does have Siege Workshops. This is such a weird game. Oh, he's trying to move it. He's gonna run away with it. Does he have a transport ship? He should have some transports here. Yeah, he has one. Oh, now Orange has it. Orange, make a run for it, man. I wonder if he can go over Blue's walls. They really need to kill all Blue's walls if this thing's gonna move. Blue now has zero units remaining, by the way. Uh, oh, he's making a skirm. Oh, no. No barracks, no archer range, only the TC. Blue's gonna be defeated. Well, nice attempt, buddy. I like how he tried it, you know? Because otherwise, he probably wouldn't have had a chance. Say goodbye. F's in the chat to pay respects to Polo. Marco Polo. He's gone. Well played, Polo. Nice attempt. But it's on to the big boys now. Uh, yellow's building here. Red's been building here. The countdown has restarted a bunch of times. Oh, and Orange is trying to move it. <laughs> and then Red takes control of it. So now Red can move it. It's so funny. You can only move it if you have it. So Red's going to run directly into Orange. Or Purple. Yeah, now <laughs> this thing's never going to move. I guess Red has to keep the Rams next to the monument as he moves it. And the monument moves a lot faster than the Rams. Maybe he now needs to use the Rams against the walls? Humanoid, who has taken the monument again, says, Look at those magnificent flappy guys. Flappy? Is that what you think elephants are? Flappy? Did you mean to say flabby? They have a little bit of flab. Flappy? What is it, a bird? Or are you talking about the ears? The ears are a bit flappy. Eh, alright. Well, the flappy guys, they're they're quite strong. So has it, having elephants next to a monument is, is a huge deal. Uh, not ideal to be next to a guy who's making halberd ears, but the guy who's making halberd ears, the pointy boys, is not against the flappy guys right now. Humanoid says, they are really quite friendly creatures, just don't upset them, they might freak out. Yeah, just don't bring any mice over, right? Is there any truth to that, by the way? I feel like that's just something they did in movies growing up. Elephants are scared of mice. Maybe it is true. Sometimes the largest animals are scared of the small ones. Do you ever see, like, a, a large dog? We'd go into, like, a new house where there's a cat. The cat immediately acts like it's his badass warrior. When, obviously, you know the dog would win. It's not true? Okay. Some people say it is true. Some people say it's not true. So, again, misinformation from the internet. Surprise. Flipster says, don't mention Flappy, please. Sorry, Flipster. I, I didn't mean to talk about your... I didn't mean to talk about you. I'm talking about the elephants. I know you told me you have some Flappy problems. So, is the monument just going to be stuck here forever? It's kind of what it feels like. It's just that no one wants to commit to enemying, which makes sense. I think yellow is in a strong position to take this. Because he has two castles here, he has Mangadai, which is an incredible unit. He has some pikes. Orange is in a nice position to try it. Uh, lacking gold and lacking halb upgrades, though. Hmm. 75 years for orange, but I kind of expect that to change. What's red up to? Red is just making cataphracts for his green. Poor green. 
But hey, if you're in green shoes right now, the more you distract red, the more you annoy red, the more likely it is that red will lose, which would bring him joy. So he, he's continuing on out of the spite at this point. So purple, yellow, and and orange. Uh, orange being the weakest one of the three. But he has the monument right now. Hey, if he gets enough spam going, he could win. For sure. Still kind of doubt it because yellow has so much in the way of siege. Oh, Teal is this war wagons. He's going to make a move. I was wondering what he's been up to. But man, they're letting yellow fortify this area way too much. Third castle is Mongols. I think that purple and orange should have turned on yellow to stop him from landing here. I think that elephants are scared of mice because they think elephants can climb up elephant's trunk and cause problems. But this has never been confirmed. I mean, I'm scared of spiders because they, they climb up my leg, so makes sense. Gray is here with cataphracts? Okay, that's not the only reason I'm scared of spiders. Oh my god, there's so many units here. Okay, yellow has just changed orange to enemy, so he has to deal with this. I think Orange uh, waited a bit too long, honestly. As I said earlier, I, he let Yellow get all these castles up, but Yellow's not addressing this. Don't tell me Orange is going to win. Purple has 85 elephants. There's no way that 80 halberdiers without full upgrade should win. These Flappy Boys have 600 HP right now. What's up with the hesitancy right now? Everyone, get here! Jeez, they did the same thing with blue. They, they waited forever. Oh, I'm, I'm getting so triggered by this. Why did yellow run back? Why? Why? Explain it. Why? What's he doing? What's going on here? Where is he going, man? Lover has changed diplomatic stance with you to enemy. So Teal is now against Yellow. That's not what you need to do here. Teal and Yellow need to work together right now. I mean, unless unless Purple saves the day. He says, Fanties, let's go. Okay, Purple can save the day. Teal and Yellow, they're going to kind of attack each other. I guess this could be good for Teal if Yellow is out of the middle. As long as the countdown resets. Okay, the countdown is going to reset. And it will go to Purple's control. Thank God. Actually, it might go to Yellow's control. Let's see. Yeah, yellow's control. But yellow's losing those manga die. So it actually works out for Lovra. Yellow still doesn't have bloodlines on his uh, manga die, so he's lacking a lot of HP. Is this humanoid's game? Because if this monument never moves, these, these fatties, these flappies are never going to move. Yellow's against purple, orange is against purple, gray's against purple. And yellow, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of defending himself from teal because he wants to hold this position. It's helping purple a lot. Humanoids is madness. Madness, I tell you. Yeah, so he's narrating the war as he's fighting in it. But I don't think you can kill this many elephants. Uh, credit to Humanoid. He made the elephants in the center of the map, if you remember. Uh, then he... Oh, there's trade on water. That's cute. Then he transported them here. It kind of seemed like he timed the, the switch on orange to perfection. If he would have turned on orange much earlier, I don't know if teal and yellow would be attacking each other right now. 88 elephants! The only way they kill 88 elephants is if they all work together right now. A humanoid is building... He's a partially built tower here. Uh, and then he also is building a castle there for more elephant production. Red is still has a lot of his population elsewhere uh, from attacking green. And, and now I guess players might try and attack purple on this island. But they need to get here. The pathing is heckle. 
I'll ally to fight purple or he wins. That's what yellow just said. Yep, that's what they need to do. Still 65 years. It, it's possible. It just looks so unlikely. And teal has not allied yellow, so it's just... <laughs> it's making it worse. Humanoid says this is a real fan fest. <laughs> Loving this. Dude, Humanoid, you're about to win your first community game ever. If you continue here, take your hand... Well, uh, don't take your hand off the keyboard, right? But stop typing. Produce units. Yellow, delete castle here. Yeah, they're both allied now. They've deleted some stuff. Red, red doesn't have any help here. It's just 2v1 now. Well, and then you have Orange, who... You remember, he took a while to get to the center. He's taken a while to get here now. Or not the center, the, the edge of the map. Humanoid has 132 population now. That's a lot of pointy boys attacking him. Is he gonna lose it now? This castle is gonna come in clutch, actually. Because every new elephant that he creates buys him another year. But I'm not so, I'm not so sure he's going to be able to hold it. I know it hasn't been the greatest execution at times because we do have a lower rated group. But Teal and Yellow, they realized they needed to work together. Orange is here to help. I guess is Orange... Okay, Orange isn't a part of that alliance. But they might just do it. It could be close again. 33 years. Yep, I agree. Monks would be an idea. But if you have this many Mangadai with Pikes and Halves, you could just do that as well. Man, Red caused this headache for himself. He's, he's attacking green now. Not helping here at all. But Red caused this headache because he gave it to Blue, man. <laughs> 24 years. Yellow, focus this one. I can't hit. Okay, so, so Teal, I love how Teal and Yellow are working together now. Some of the elephants are bugged into or behind the monument, so Teal can't hit it. Yellow is the one that has to do it with range. Dude, the castle's still creating elephants. Oh, wait, there's just one now. No, now there's two. I can't even click the elephants myself. Another one's gonna come out before this elephant dies, I think. Purple could still do this! The castle's getting trapped down, though! Another elephant comes out, it's gonna be below 10 years! Can another elephant come out in the last second? 60%! 70%! 85! Oh, it goes down! And he loses it, and now it's Teal's Monument. Oh, Humanoid was so close, and Humanoid says, I hate this game. Oh, no. The Fanty Boys. Well, now what happens, man? They can't move it out of here. It's stuck. Teal says, oh, it's mine, 11. I don't want it. Yeah, it's a hot potato. No one wants it. You get this monument, you die. Get the Fs in the chat for respects and for Fanties. And Teal says, here you go. Oh, he wants to give it away. Well, Gray's units are kind of bugged in here. By the way, where did Gray come from? He made cataphracts earlier, he made some batards, but kudos to him for showing up again. Teal still has control of it, apparently. <laughs> he says, that thing is cursed, I tell you. Yeah, I think this halve is currently holding control of it. Man, it, it's... This map is really interesting now. I think it's just going to be stuck here all game. Maybe Orange can rebound to get back into it. Maybe even Humanoid. I don't think he has trade. Um, yeah, lack of trade is a concern. Well, <laughs> Yellow says, now what? Teal says, we hang out 11. Gray says, Mexican standoff. Yeah, kind of. No one wants to do it because if they do it, they die. Blue was the first example. Humanoid was the next, next example. Still not sure how Teal has this now. Those halves seem to be pretty far away. Well, they're killing Blue's walls. This is good. Because they can't move it around if Blue's walls are there. 
I think that we're going to have a very strong friendship come out of this. Lover and, and Yellow. Lover says, I attacked you because I couldn't get past your castle earlier. Just letting Yellow know that he does love him. Wow. Well, they're just letting Teal have it for now. Um, ooh. Red just turned on Teal. So, so Red, who's still pushing Green, and Green is holding on like a beast. Uh, Red wants to kill the Halbs. He knows the danger of letting Teal hold on to this for much longer. Okay, and now Gray has it because his camels are stuck there. Now, does he want it? I don't think so. Red even allied Teal again after that. Not sure what changed, really, unless there was a halb there I couldn't see. Oh, great, try and move it. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck trying to move this monument anywhere. This is such a ridiculous stalemate right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, now the yellow has it. <laughs> this is never going to end. 13-hour game is going to get beaten right here. Oh, my God. This is never going to end, man. Like, the fact that you can transport this monument doesn't even matter now. It's just... It's never getting back to water. You know what? It, it would be sick if, if Orange focuses on killing Blue's walls, brings a transport over here. He could just transport it over to his base. Or Purple's actually attacking him. Holy crap. Or not even take it to his base. He could just leave it in the water here. It's an idea. Yellow could try the same. I would love to see someone get this back in a transport, but I need to kill Blue's walls. Polo, are you in the chat right now? Polo, did you ever expect that your walls would be so much of a deterrent? Oh! Oh, it's going down! So Yellow is, is not going to love Lovra, despite love being in the name. He wants to win this game. Lover has not changed yellow to enemy. Okay, now he's done so, but all the pointy boys are going to die. They're not even fully upgraded. Not that that would matter. Manga die are just better because of the range. And what's Orange up to? Ar you know, Orange is enemy to everyone except for Gray. He just defended from humanoids elephants. I think he needs to join in. And Gray's going to need to join in as well. Most other players didn't want this monument. Yellow wants it. And he's got it right now, 66 years. Can he put it inside a castle? What happens if the transport dies? Um, you cannot put the monument inside of a castle, no. If the transport dies, it goes to the closest piece of land. So if there was a transport here and it had a monument and it died, it would go here. I thought originally it would go back to the piece of land it left from, but we saw that wasn't the case. I know we haven't talked about Green, unless he was dying, but still, heck of a game for him to hold on. Like, distracting Red. I don't see Red winning this game. And, oh, it's going down between Gray and Yellow. A Byzantine Paladins, Camels, they're kind of weak. So against Pikes and Mangadai, I think I would prefer the Mangadai. I'm not sure Yellow has all of his upgrades, though. I just need to check here. He does have Thumb Ring. Still doesn't have Bloodlines, though, so lacking the HP, but Thumb Ring's a big one for the attack. Red is now against Yellow. Oh, and he's helping out with the Cannon Galleons! What a trooper! So he can kill some of Yellow's castles. Orange doesn't seem interested. No, Humanoid's castle! Now, Orange doesn't seem interested in helping right now. But a lot of Yellow's units are now dying, and Lovra is back! This game is never gonna end, man. I don't think Yellow could do this. Uh, actually, no, it's it's, it's a 34 years and he has Siege. Remember, you just need a few units next to the monument to hold control of it. Orange is coming back, so he'll arrive around 15 years to help. But man, Lovra... He has siege, halves, war wagons. He, he really just needs some siege to kill the castles. If Yellow loses the castles, then it's only pikemen spam. And Red's even making halves from here. 
Humanoid says, oh boy, we in trouble. Yeah, I, you really are in trouble. Lover has to save the day. <laughs> Humanoid says, normally I would say go middle. Yeah, as well. I, I've said middle a bunch of times during my cast. Middle doesn't do much for you right now. It's very cramped. Not for the first time. That Monument Countdown is below 20 years. It's at 16 years for Yellow, and he's down to 80 pop. He has two barracks producing pikemen and militia, and he has one siege ram coming out of this siege workshop. These pikemen, they're probably not even going to make it in. <gasps> the militia! The militia! Guys! The hero militia! Oh my god, is he going to win it with militia? No way. Are these guys attacking each other? Orange is kind of ruining this. Why is Orange attacking Teal? He's blocking Teal off, dude. The militia. It's a five years. Sorry about the overlay. I have no time to remove it. Yellow shifted the militia to the left. Yellow's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. It's a one year. Micro. Wow, he wins it, man. Oh my god, what a ridiculous game. Finally it ends. Holy crap, that was hectic. I wasn't sure what to expect. This is the only this is only the second time that we've used this mod. Uh, we didn't see it transported too often after the first couple times. It was just stuck here in Blue's base. And Yellow got the win. What a game from Yellow. He started all the way over here. Remember, Yellow was the big reason why Blue didn't win it. So he was the hero then, and he wins the game. Congratulations, Juster Duster. That was really well played. But man, everyone played good in this game. Again, I feel bad for Green's situation. Um, oh god, did I just break something? Yeah, I tried to remove the overlay, and it doesn't work after the game ends. But anyway, so you can't really see what I select, but... Um, oh, go back over here. Green was having some real problems in this game. Uh, mainly because he... He and Red just couldn't agree on terms of peace. But, you know, he, he held on, and I think because he held on, Red wasn't able to get a chance to win it. We had Lovra. Uh, Lovra played a huge part there near the end uh, in helping, and, and he was close to, to maybe making a run for it. Gray as well played well. Everyone played well in this game. Blue died really early, but without Blue Man, this game wouldn't have been near as exciting, and this monument would have never been here. It's just funny to me how this turned into Hot Potato. Because the more we play this, the more you guys are going to realize what works. Oh no, I can't even go to the achievements? Hold on, can I fix this somehow? Press a bunch of buttons? No! Today we learned. Oh. Oh no, I can't move my mouse. <laughs> um... Oh, wait. Boom. I know how to use computers. We got this. Now, I don't think I could go... Is there a hotkey to go from tab to tab here, chat? Because I can't click. It won't register any of my mouse clicks. Does tab do it? Um, I could tab between play again and return to game. That's it. <laughs> Wait, maybe if I go return to game, it'll let me... Oh! <laughs> okay. I apologize. This is not the best outro to a YouTube video I've ever had, but we're making progress. See, I can't remove this. This is why everything's frozen. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is such a struggle. I'm a pro streamer, guys. Sometimes. Well... Uh, no achievements, I guess. Sad times. But we can make, we can, we can make it up. And we could say that it was a great game from Blue. There's not a lot of Blue on the timeline, which is a disappointment for him, but he was close with his first community game. Uh, I was happy with that one. And I'm very happy with how this mod has played out. That game was definitely a bit campy, uh, probably in, just in part to the mod. The mod probably forced that, but. Congratulations, Juster Duster, and we're going to do this again in the future. Probably later on today we'll do more. I think I have a new Nothing map that I'm going to be using soon. Thank you all for watching on YouTube and Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, 
and you'd like to stop by the Twitch stream where we always have working overlays, then you can click the link below in the video description. Yeah, I've tried left and right arrows. Control and tab doesn't do anything. Yep, I've used the arrow keys. I've, I've, I'm not that dumb with computers. This is the first for me, but I've tried some hotkeys. Doesn't seem to work for me. It is what it is.